What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. We're back in Vegas with Silver Sage, and we're going to be doing a financial breakdown. Uh, actually, this is going to be an eBay review. Yeah, eBay review. So what, what, what can we expect here? This is a jam-packed agenda. I just made uh, these slides, and we have a lot to go over. <clears throat> Before we even jump in, I put four, five bullet points on the opening slide here. So the first one is new subscribers. Since we've done a last eBay review, which was middle of January, we've doubled in size, triple in size, whatever. So first, thank you all for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, now's your time. <laughs> um, wanted to discuss something for people who weren't able to watch the first one. Go back and watch it, but just really the concept of profit. If you open a box and you spend $200 on that box and you open two cards and sell them for 80 and $40, right? It's like, how much did you make off of that, those cards? So the prof and the answer is you can't really calculate profit when you're opening cards from a pack. You can only calculate profit if you buy a card at a show or eBay and then flip that same card because there's a lot of other cards in that box. There's a lot of bulk, there's different things. So you have to look at uh, hobby boxes or blaster boxes when you open it on a on a whole whole base with how'd you do with all those boxes? Well, we're keeping some of the cards, we're donating some of the cards, we're selling some cards now, we're selling cards later. So the concept of profit doesn't really exist here. So I just wanted to cover that. We're just seeing how much money we can make back through eBay. Uh, financial recaps. We've been a little behind on some of the financial recaps. It's because we've done a lot of videos and we're going to start catching back up on some of the financial yeah, recaps. Yeah, some of these people want the Phoenix recap. Oh, we're doing box, that for sure. And a couple other ones and people have been requesting. I want to finish the downtown series. That's the last one too. Yep. That's the last one. And then price comps. Um, we, we try to get guesses of what we think we're going to sell the card for. We didn't do that too much here, just a couple of them. And that'll come more in future recaps and different things. But this time we're just going to talk about eBay, some of the fun stuff that's going on with eBay in our store. And this is what I've been living and breathing lately. So <laughs> I got a lot to share and I purposely don't tell Brody a lot of the stories cause I'm saving them for he these wants, recaps. He wants to, he wants to <laughs> surprise me here. All right. Next slide. Yeah. All right. Oh, and here we go. Okay. All right. So here's some of the big sales. I put six up here. Wow. First thing of note is Tucker and the person who bought Justin Tucker here in the middle, right? Did not pay for their card. And I just wanted to Sad. bring, yeah, I wanted to bring this up. I don't like how eBay works it because to me, you should have a credit card on file. And when you win it, you get charged automatically. But how eBay works is after you win it, then you have to pay. Well, if you don't pay, you don't seem to get any sort of, apparently your, your account gets flagged or something, but there's no real penalty. So some people can scheme the system by putting in larger bids. If they win, they win. If they don't win, they don't pay. Eventually what I heard, and this is what I was gonna ask the community if somebody knows anything, I heard eventually your account will get banned. But here's the thing. It's not that hard to create another eBay account. account with a different credit card and whatever. So it's like, if it takes 20 non payments, it's like people can do this all the time. And uh, the sick thing is, is they can buy something and then wait to see how the player performs and then decide to pay or not yeah. pay. You were telling me about that where it's like, oh, they have a big game on Sunday. If they win, they'll, right. they'll pay for it. If they lose, they won't pay. And it's and, like, that's so scummy. And, but. and Tucker hits the game winning field goal to send him to Super Bowl. Then you see hey, the payment comes yeah. through. And I was like, what are we going to do? Yeah. So anyways, um, it's now up for auction. So please go and bid on this card. Link for the eBay or for our eBay store is in the description down below yes. so a bunch of other big cards are on there as well so go check them out yeah and then all these i think they all have a story to them and uh it's kind of fun looking at these big cards That's and crazy. thinking like we pulled all these and some of these you've even made into reels most of these yeah. really yeah and uh the drake may though we did guess on that for 80 bucks and it ended up going for 103 wow and uh, the brock purdy no name that was a hit we were way off on that <laughs> um i put that in that bab slide and, and listed it at like 35 bucks so we guessed on that as well and that went for double brock purdy's hot right now so yeah. anyways these were some of our big recent sales and you can see in the bottom right those are profit so uh you have to take out shipping materials and the ebay fee the ebay fee obviously scales 
and then you end to the profit right there. Okay. So pretty good cards there. Yeah. Next slides. Okay. So $5 or less. These are the little boys. So the first funny story about this, and you guys can pause the video and scroll through these in details if you want to. But the first story about this is you pulled a Connor McGregor out of 199. Yeah. And it was number one, zero, zero, one out of 199. I didn't realize that that's a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. So I made a point to put that on the auction. And then I forgot it was going too fast. And I labeled it 52 out of 199 because that was the auction that I copied. The number was 52 out of 199. And I went too fast. And I didn't realize it till it was already up there. And you cannot change the names of it. Oh, no. And it sold for five bucks. But somebody in the messages message it. Uh, sent it in hey this is number one did you realize that i was like it might be your lucky day if nobody else knows yeah because we just pulled the jordan love which was one out of 35. yeah anything and with a one is like the first print run it's, it's a little a special so it's one, like the yeah. number or one uh so long story short i cost us some bucks on that by not doing it but you live and you learn it's all right sam laporta i forgot to list his name it just said Detroit Lions in the card number, and that went for a couple bucks. So that was another mistake. Trey Lance, I lost the card. It sold for two bucks, and I lost the card. I searched for that card for 45 minutes, and I'm like, what am I doing here? I got to just message the guy. I couldn't find this Trey Lance card anywhere. Um, it, no. was, it was sad. Oh. Thankfully, he was cool about it, and he was like, I didn't really want it anyways. Um, oh, that's good. And then he tried to start selling some of his cards to me. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm not ready to buy right now. Uh, $0 shipping. You might notice here in this column shipping, some of it's zero. That's because I was able to sneak it in with another package. Mm, multiple buyers, yeah. So that. that's where you make a lot of money on these smaller cards. So if you're buying and you buy a bunch of cards, that's really helpful because it saves on shipping. Mm -hmm. uh, materials. I put them at 40 cents. And I've now moved it up to 45 cents per package. And here's why. I keep running out of tape and I keep running out of packages and the math's not working. So I'm like low on ink, I'm low on tape. It's so crazy how fast the tape goes. And the tape's 13 bucks for six rolls. So I'm like, I better start The little painter's tape? Uh, no, this is the scotch tape for outside the, or the uh, packing tape for outside. Yeah. So uh, anyways, the cost is up to 45 cents now. Okay. And uh, you got involved in some shipping here. We you did. and Kelsey were shipping out some green cards. Mm -hmm. And that's what the highlight there is on the... It made me uh, It made me think that you definitely should get a label printer. Yes, I need to look 100%, into that. 100%. Because you sure. can print them all out in a matter of like five seconds. Yes. And one of the things I highlight is that 45 cents for your cost. Mm -hmm. uh, I take this just to let everybody know, and I know you know this, I take a serious, I track to the penny. So that 45 cents has gotta be tracked because Brody shipped that. So, uh, and I guess if you're new here, just a reminder, Brody and I are splitting everything 50-50. We're tracking all the finances and we're gonna have a, we're gonna have an update just how we're doing generally mm -hmm. at some point. Uh, we're finally digging out of the videos and all the blasters. Yeah, and we, we got were, all yeah, we were posting, I mean, at a certain point we were posting uh, about 20 videos or so a week. <laughs> it's insane and for, for me as inventory management and eBay yeah. guy. I'm like trying so, to keep up. <laughs> so now we're doing about one video like uh, every day for like five days. Yeah. So we're not nearly ripping as many boxes. So you're slowly catching up on the eBay side. We're slowly catching up on like all the inventory we have of boxes to rip. Yes. So uh, it will be much cleaner and easier, I think. But at the beginning, we're like, we got to get videos out. We got to try to get monetized. We got to try to get subscribers. Yes. And now we can kind of go more at, a, at an easier pace for everyone. Um, at all the meanwhile, like Sage has hundreds yeah. of cards over and here. And then the one, the one funny thing is this Travis Kelsey at the bottom here. Yeah. You can see the sold price is zero. Didn't sell. No, it sold. I had to refund him because he said that the package came to him and he had to sign and pay $4.51 for shipping. So, what? He, so even though I already paid 60 cents for the shipping, he, he poor guy, I, I wanted to say like, why did you sign that? You should have said no, <laughs> Wait, throw <why>? it out. <laughs> so the, the postman came to the door and said, Hey, this was shipped without the incorrect thing. If you want this, you have to sign and pay. I've never heard so of I just refunded thing. him, but I almost was like, give me your Venmo and I'll send you the four bucks. Yeah. Because 
uh, that's a mistake. Like I've done hundreds of these and nobody's ever I've done never that. Never heard that. So, uh, but I wish he would just said, Oh, trash it. But then I'm thinking, why don't, why do I have a return address on it? If they're going to go knock on the door for the incorrect shipping, ship it back to me and then I'll destroy the package. <laughs> <laughs> you just delete it. Okay. This is a sweet spot range five to 15. These are our babs. Yes. And we can go a little quicker here on the right side is the profit percentage. So well, what I did, lost on one. Well, uh, it's, it's more like what's the sale price divided by the profit. And that's mm. going to give us the profit percentage. Okay. So it's kind of like whether you sold it for five or 15, um, I wanted to get an equalizer and one of them was really bad. We'll get to that in a second, but Bryant young actually did all right for everybody talking about how good Bryant young yep. was. $15. Steve Young would have sold for 75 for yeah, sure. Yeah, Steve Young would have been close to 100 <laughs> Tua, okay, that might be lost in the mail. And Brody, you shipped that one, so we get to blame you. But um, the tracking isn't updated, so we'll see on that one. But no, that's this that's, is where I wanted it's, to... It's getting there. This is where I wanted to highlight the insurance program that eBay has, which is awesome. So if you sell a card under $20, you pay $0.64 cents in shipping, and you and the buyer are insured for the full amount. So as long as the buyer sends you a message saying the card never came, the tracking never updates to delivered, you submit it, you refund the buyer, and then the USPS and eBay will refund you. Mm -hmm. And supposedly it works 100% of the time. So anyways, if Tua is lost, we'll send back the 750 and we'll get the 750 back. So we get, the completed sale and they get their money back. The only thing that misses is missing is that they don't get their card. I mean, there's a chance that someone at the post office is a big Miami Dolphins fan. Yeah, that is jacked true. It. Yes. So that's why you can sell smaller cards on eBay's because they're all guaranteed under twenty dollars. Gotcha. When you go over twenty dollars, things change. Okay. So if you're looking to sell some lower level cards, you're wondering how how you do it. Well, they have a special agreement for sixty cent shipping. Still have to do the materials. And then it's guaranteed if it gets lost and the tracking is wacky. So I get so many messages. Hey, what's up with this delivery? And then it's tracking. Well, the tracking is a little weird on it, but if it gets lost, no, no harm, no foul. Um, so we did a Texans lot and this ended up being the only loser. Mm. It, two lots, a veteran lot and a Texan lot sold for $7 and 76 cents. I had to put so many cases that the materials were like $2 and 45 cents. It weighed too much. <laughs> it weighed so much that even though it was under $20, it broke out of the ounce range. Oh, so I had no. to pay the $4 and 38 cents shipping. So Brutal. we lost 34 cents on shipping these two lots. So that was a, that was a fail. Okay. And then, um, we had this Thule guy who had these, uh, all these sacks, 12 and a half sacks. <laughs> we thought he was gonna go for 30 bucks. And he sold for eight. The Chargers fans really let us down on that yeah. one. And then everyone, I pulled Mike Allstott's autograph. I got so much hate in the comments. Like this guy's a Hall of Famer. You gave me hate. Everybody gave me. Hate. Okay, it sold for fifth. It sold for how much? Thirteen bucks. If he's so good, if he's so good, how can it go for thirteen dollars? So it turns out I get the last laugh on that. That I, was a crappy card. I think it kind of goes back to that Bryant Young situation of where it's like. They might be really good players, but they're playing positions. It's a fullback. Yeah, they're playing positions where. Yeah, it's so. just not a. It's not a sexy position. So. Yeah. Anyways, I get the last laugh because thirteen dollars is you do. not a great autograph. Hey, everyone nice. in the comments right now, say I'm sorry, yeah, Silver ap Sage. Apologize. Apologize, to apologize me. right now to Silver Sage and in the comments. Yeah. Okay, this is the bigger cards, twenty to fifty, and we got Slash here who is, and I got that right, Cordell Stewart's nickname. Because mm. he plays. That sold well. Do you, remember, do you remember why it was slash pop quiz? They gave him the slash because he was the first ever quarterback slash running back position. Oh. He would, and slash wide receiver position. He did everything. So they called him the slash because, uh, you know, okay. it was the first of his kind. Okay, that makes sense. So anyways, $46, that shocked me. He's the man. Yeah. Uh, your Gibbs case hit, case hit Kelsey. Thank you yeah. for that. $39. Mm -hmm. Gibbs, that was a great time to get a Gibbs case hit. And uh, Wimby hit. That was a sick pull. We mm -hmm. we listed that one limp, Wimby. We got $30 for that. And then here's your UFC guy that you like. Yeah, don't sleep on Yuri. 
Yeah, and he, he, went, he went pretty good, $27. And that's after a loss, too. Yeah. Like he just lost his last fight, too. But he, he's, he's, uh, he's got a lot of fans. Yeah, and then the DK checkerboard might be lost in the mail. You also ship this one. And um, this is over $20, so I don't know what to do on this one. If Wait, this what's is happening? Um, is well, it supposed to, you're supposed to give it a certain amount of time, and then... Yes. Because so, how could it get lost? <laughs> I, uh, We're literally just... I have no idea how the, how the post office loses mail, but um, I just assume that somebody steals it. Because we're just printing off the label. Yeah. No, you shipped like 10 things. And then just ship it. And eight of them are flowing perfectly <laughs> through. I'm checking the tracking, and it's like picked up in Texas, <laughs> now in Maine, now out for delivery. DK is like, they're still like UPS, is, USPS is still like looking for it. It's like never received. Like it. it got knocked off the conveyor belt and yeah. it like, like got pushed back behind a cabinet. And a janitor sweeping yeah. and then throws it out. Oh man, that's a sick car too. So that sucks. If you know what to do for these ones, please let me know in the comments or reach out to me if uh, if that is lost. But that sucks. You know, sometimes the tracking doesn't work, and uh, maybe it'll pop up. You're counting on the people who don't get their card to let you know, Hey, I have a problem here. Yeah. Right. Otherwise I assume it'll, it'll go. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's pretty much it for this slide, but you can see here, this is where you, this is where you make some good money. And Will eBay. McDonald surprised me too. Yeah. Was not expecting that from Will McDonald. That was the green one. I think, yeah. uh, 1750 green ice. Yeah. I think it was just the color match and yeah. Yep. Impressive stuff. Okay. And the summary, and uh, the last thing I was thinking of is like a dollar fifty is the break even. If you sell anything for under a dollar fifty, then you're losing money on the on the. It's auction. almost like if you sell anything under two dollars, it might not even be worth it. Yeah, fifty cents to. Well, well, if you sell two dollars, the fee even grows. So. Oh, then it's not even fifty cents. It's right. Like, yeah. Okay. Right. So the the fee scales at so about a dollar. The sweet spot's like three dollars and up. Yes. You don't really want to sell anything under three. Yes, but. I always want to give the card the, the chance. chance to go high. Yes. So if you ever feel like supporting uh, <laughs> Silver Sage and the Dark Horse you see, Sports you cards, see a card bid it at one ninety nine. <laughs> put put, put it a up two dollar bid. Yeah, put it up there. to a little two fifty for and us. buy a lot of them, and it will save on shipping. No, but uh, seriously, you guys have been amazing, and a lot of bids and a lot of messages, and I'll get to that in a sec. So first, back to the numbers. 1245 came in as revenue. That's but not bad. 895 profit. That That's means the, the delta is the fees, the shipping, and the materials. And um, yeah. And a couple things lost in the mail and some refunds here or there. Uh, got a new photo box. I was ha yeah. happy with that. Hey, if you guys are enjoying the eBay photos where they were like being taken <laughs> on like a blanket to where they are now, like the video, show some uh, Silver Sage some love. Yeah. The photos things was an absolute nightmare. It was, it's so hard. It's oh, so hard to take good photos and drive me nuts. the ones he's taking now are, are, are money. They look good. Yeah. And uh, inventory update. We'll provide that more global update of what we're keeping, what we're selling. And uh, we're picky and choosy right now of exactly what we're going to uh, save. But uh, you know, football season's coming to an end. So we gotta, we gotta see what, how the market reacts here. Um, we already touched on this catching up on videos one day a week now, one mm -hmm. five a week now, I, every Some, day. Something about that. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes with new releases and stuff, we might add in six, maybe one every day or so, yeah. uh, six or seven, but, uh, we're going to try to do Monday through Friday, I think yeah. moving forward. Yeah. And to put you on the spot here, the membership update, if you want to talk about that, I yeah. just want to say thanks. Yeah the, yeah. the membership has been awesome. Uh, we just, this is a brand new thing that we just added. Uh, it gives you guys another chance to kind of support the channel, support what we're doing here uh, with also giving you guys perks as well. So with the membership, you can click the join button on this video or the link is in the description as well and you can check it out. And it's $1.99 or two, I think maybe $2.99 a month. And basically what it does is it gives you a badge next to your name. So when you make a comment, it, it kind of stands out to us and it also kind of puts it in a different slot that we can see easier. When we do our live streams, it also gives you the ability to stand out. Your, your name is actually a different color. You also have the ability to add, uh, you know, personalized emojis to this channel as well. And then the, the other thing that's really cool is 
I can actually send out polls to you guys, ask you guys questions on what videos you want to see next, what hobby boxes would you like to see next, maybe what yeah. videos you want to see Sage do a financial breakdown on, yeah. uh, and you guys can kind of help lead the channel. And we've had, I think we have 18 or 19 members already, so we really do appreciate uh, all you guys for supporting the channel. Yes, and um, I was gonna talk, we're, we're trying to build up a PSA bulk explanation. I was gonna go quickly that if you can submit 20 cards in bulk, you get a major discount. So we're trying to submit uh, that right now and get that going, so look for that. That'll be a good review too when they come back. And yeah, that'll be it. fun. Maybe that's the first debut of PSA Alley. Yeah, <laughs> she needs to get it on here. <laughs> Uh, that's my wife, and um, P her <laughs> channel name is PSA Alley. She only she only opens Gem Mint tens. If it's it's if it's below that, it's in the trash. Um, any ideas, Brody? Feedback. The feedback on eBay has been great. I just looked at that. We almost have four, 300 followers on eBay. Yeah. And, I didn't even know you could follow someone on eBay. And you guys have been giving good feedback. I put little notes in all of the all of the packages. If you guys have gotten a note or like that note, <laughs> let me know. I haven't heard a single thing. I've sent like 300 <laughs> notes and not a single like, hey, got that note. That was cool. Um, so let me know if those <laughs> notes are going. And then uh, we already talked on bidding on our stuff. And uh, But a lot of you guys send in notes and are buying cards just because uh, you saw it got opened on the channel or you wanted to support Dark Horse Sports cards. So really grateful for that. And... That is the, the eBay update, the State of the Union, the status, the channel update, everything. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind it at all. I mean, almost $1,000 in profits, great. And we have tons and tons of cards left to uh, get up on the eBay. So, uh, yeah, I would say, when do, you, when do you post cards on eBay? When should people kind of go and check to see what the new – because every week new cards are coming on. Yeah. But what days are the ones that people should go and check? So the, the strategy we, we've been doing is to make the auctions end on the weekend. We feel like that's when the most people are on their phone looking at the cards and are available at night. Uh, and so we like to do seven or five day auctions that end on Saturday or Sunday. So by Wednesday through Saturday, Wednesday, Wednesday through Friday, everything will be up for the week. Okay, so. sweet. All right, well, we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.